so welcome back and I'm um, just back on the coronation again now I know it's a bit to and fro but that's the way I've been working um, last time with the coronation we had an issue with the horn stopping the thing working um, there was a comment so <laughs> my first thought was the old buzzer which is installed and has been for god knows how many years uh was interfering with the controller because as soon as the buzzer went as soon as you use the horn which was a an old buzzer it killed the power to the drive uh if you switched it off and switched it on again it would work again um i did have a comment from eric uh thank you very much for the input um saying that there's a track to cut in the in the horn relay board so if you're running 12 volt you cut that track i was close to doing that and i read the instructions one more time i do appreciate the comment because it's always worth a check however this is a pure 12 volt system it's a single battery 12 volt system 12 volt motor uh, and therefore that track only needs cutting if you're running a 12 volt horn off of a 24 volt system. So I'm back to the thoughts of um, that's interfering. Um, so it's a little bit of a horny time. Bought a new one. So I need to fit this, try it out. In, I suppose I should really do the other way around. I'll try it out, um, but then it's only one bolt. It's, it's one big hole to to fit it. I just need to find somewhere to fit it. It would go under here where the where the original was, but if possible, I'd prefer it up at the front of the engine. Um, I've got a couple of ideas. Uh, it could either go. Let's say one drop here. It could either go off a bracket that comes up here in front of the battery, they do something up here, or um, I'll try and fit it up underneath. Personally, I think up underneath might be better. Uh, if I can find somewhere, that's where it's going to go. So I'll be back in a moment and I'll show you how I'm going to fit it and where I'm going to fit it. So here we are up on end. Now my first thought was it'd be nice up here somewhere. Um, so I thought, oh, the bolt that holds the hook on. But it would be such a pain in the backside to try and get that bolt in when that's in the way. So then I thought, oh, this bolt, we could put it here. It might need the bracket bending to go face down. Um, However, I decided that was a little bit out of the question because this moves. It's a rudimentary suspension system for the engine, so it can't really uh, go behind that because it can't be solid. Uh, I have considered drilling and tapping into that plate. And in fact, Although I had discounted it, that may well be an option. So I'm down to two choices. Drill and tap into this plate, in this, into the casting here. Or there is a bolt there that holds on this dummy brake gear. And I could take the nut off of that and place it there. So I'm going to have a quick think and decide which might be the better route. Okay, so after much deliberation, I decided to put it under here. I was just about to drill and tap a hole under here. However, the cable route came to mind. So from here, it's just a case of running up under this axle and up through a hole in the chassis there, or the one at the back there, probably this one and then around to the controller. Uh, so that's the next job. 
So having connected the horn to the two terminals that the old one came out of, I, I turned the switch on and absolutely nothing happened. Um, after a little bit of uh, fault finding, I realized that I hadn't put the battery in. So having put the battery in now, we can give the thing a try. But it still works. And so there you go. It must have been that old buzzer which was causing a problem and an interference with the uh, controller. So that can all go back together now. Um, I will try and find the old charge lead that I had that, and I'll just drop it in temporarily. Ultimately, I will put proper terminals on. However, for now, that will do fine. Um, and yeah, that's ready to take out on the track now. Uh, I've pushed a little bit tonight to get it done where I wasn't going to because my daughters are coming to the club tomorrow and they've asked me to take it. Um, it's the last run of the season, so I need to finish getting it wired up. Uh, we're not allowed to run at our club without some sort of horn, so I can finish wiring this up now, uh, get the charge cables in, put the lid on, and then take it from there. You may or may not remember that this plate came out of there. You can see the, the sort of witness mark where it was in there. It can't go back in at the moment because it hits the unit, control unit. So I've marked a line across there where I'm going to cut it and then I can have a go at refitting. So I couldn't find my lead that went from the cables I had for the loco up to the charging box. So I've had to make a new one of them, uh, but that's now on. Um, looking on the box, it is charging. So hopefully that will be ready for the morning. Um, and then we can take it down to the club for the girls to have a little play with. Um, yeah, so let's see what happens. Uh, if you see, if the next shot you see is going around the track, then it's all been a success and it's all worked perfectly. Um, if the title comes up here saying, thanks, please subscribe, then we've got problems and we'll be back again to discover what they are. So for now, I'm going to say thanks very much. Please subscribe. Um, please tell your friends to subscribe. I'm so close to my thousand subscribers. Um, last time I looked, it was about 22 short. About 22 to go so hopefully fingers crossed we can get to that that thousand this week i'm so grateful for every single one of you that subscribed even more grateful to those of you that watch but yeah so let's uh hopefully you're about to see us going around the track but if not thanks for watching and i will see you again sometime soon Success.